other application moves into the production, uh, sometimes unexpectedly you need more of your application or more of your containers to actually serve the user. In that case, the scalability is much easier than spinning up the entire virtual machine or an EC2 machine. With the Docker, you can spin it up and I'll give you some examples as well. For example, if there is some piece of code in C++ or in Java and you want to execute that quickly, you can even spin a Docker machine for that. Yeah, just for running that simple piece of code, you can spin up a Docker machine within seconds, it will execute your code, will give you the output and then machine can, can be shut down. Yeah, that kind of scalability that instantly you can spin up hundreds of machine and scale it down, this is where something everybody loves. Isolation, as I mentioned, one of the key advantage is having the isolated machine and that too very quickly. You don't know how that code will behave. That code might be malicious. It might corrupt your entire machine or that code needs to be done separately so that it doesn't pollute the existing environment. That kind of thing you can get with the Docker and that's what the isolation is. 